everybody. Welcome to Motivation Monday. I'm Jeannie Cioli from Madera Ranch, California, and we're so happy to have you here. Let's get started on this super cute pinwheel tower card. I saw this when my friend Rachel Tussman posted her video, and I couldn't wait to do my own version and share that with you. So let's get started. For this project, we are going to be using some new product. It's actually available starting tomorrow. Uh, it's the new Penguin Place stamp set and the Penguin Playmates designer series paper. This is part of the celebration products that you can get when you purchase an order of $50 or more. And it's free and it is adorable. When I got the celebration catalog, this was actually my first thing on my list of what I wanted. So it has this great pattern, super fun characters for winter, lots and lots of fun. And then on the back side, it has great patterns that could be used for anything. So these are really fun as well. So let me show you what we're going to be making. We are going to be making this tower card. So when it is flat, it looks like this. And then you can just keep flipping the pages to get different designs. And then this is the spot where you would write your own personal greeting. And then we're back to the front of the card. Well, when the person opens it up and they're ready to display it, they can just fold it like this and it stands up on its own like a little tower, a little pinwheel. It's adorable. And I can't wait to show you just how easy this is to make. So we're, we, uh, let me show you the pieces first. So we have a piece of designer series paper that is four and a quarter by four and a half. We have four pieces of Just Jade cardstock that are three and three quarters by four and a quarter. Now, if you don't want to mark down these measurements, don't worry about it. I have added all of these to my stampwithgenie.com website, and you can uh, find all the information on the products used and the pieces, uh, what sizes they all are. We are going to use one of these beautiful hologram uh, die cut snowflakes. And this is out of the wonderful Snowflakes pack. Once again, a new product. Super fun. And we have some of the other de designer series paper. And we actually have two of the same, but we're reversing it so it looks like a different paper. And these are, I forgot to mark the sizes here, so let me just double check here. This is two and a half by four. So you have four pieces of designer series paper and we have four pieces of white cardstock that are one and a half by four. Plus I cut out a bunch of the images out of the designer series paper. Now, if you wanted to make this card quicker, you could certainly stamp using the images in that coordinating stamp set. So you could, you could decorate the cards by stamping them and the card will go a lot faster than fussy cutting these out. But I personally love to fussy cut and so these images are so adorable I couldn't go without using them. All right, and then I did punch out a balloon. Now, if you don't have a balloon punch or die cut, there is a balloon in, can, uh, included in the stamp set that you could stamp and then cut out. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this together. We are going to start with the piece that is four and a quarter by four and a half. And on the four and a half inch side, the four and a half inch side, we're gonna do some score lines. So I'm gonna bring over my trimmer and I just love this trimmer. It's compact, it's easy to keep on my desk, and it's got the scoring blade, plus it's got the cutting blade, all the measurements you can use. It has a ruler that comes out over here, so you can cut, uh, use the ruler for the larger papers. 
is just a great tool to have on your desk. So we are going to take this and we are going to score this paper along the four and a half inch side at one inch all the way across. So we have one inch, two inch, three inch, and four inches. Okay, that leaves us a little half inch section that we will be able to put our adhesive on. Now this is the side that I want inside my tower here. So you could choose any pattern paper that you wanted for this and just make sure that any pattern that you have is going in the right direction. But I love that those green trees, I felt like it went with all of the papers. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna fold at each of these one inch score lines. And when I fold it, I'm making sure that it is straight along the top and bottom of this piece. Okay, once I know it is, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the bone folder. Same thing, I'm gonna just keep making sure that this piece is being scored straight across. So I'm gonna score all those fold lines. And there's our little half inch section. Okay, now if you try to glue, we want to glue this into a square, into our square tower. And if you try to glue it like this, chances are your piece is going to go a little wonky on you. Okay, it's not, it's not as easy to get perfectly straight as the way I'm going to show you right now. What I want you to do is just fold over this part. So you have your little half inch section right here and I'm going to use strong adhesive for this so I'm going to use our seal plus and I'm just going to take the seal plus down that half inch section and then I'm just going to close this and when I close it it will give me that nice straight tower okay so I'm just going to take that and burnish that in make sure that adhesive is really uh, tack down strongly. Okay. Just flatten that out and we are good to go. We have our nice tall tower. All right, so let's take our Just Jade pieces and we're going to create our pinwheel. Once again, these are two and three quarters by four and a quarter. So what I'm going to do is I am going to switch adhesives and I'm going to go with the regular snail. And I'm just going to put adhesive on that one inch section. I'm not getting into the next section, just this one on the left here. And I'm going to align this with this at the top corner, making sure that it's really straight going all the way down. And I'm just gluing the left side of that card to our tower. Okay, now I'm gonna flip this over and I'm going to put adhesive on the next one inch section. I'm gonna make sure that's all the way to the top there. And I'm going to attach my next piece even, making sure that's nice and straight all the way across. Okay, now I can open that up and you can see that this card is even down the middle with this card. That's an important thing to know because if you want your card to be a different size, say you wanted your card to be five by seven, what you would do is you would cut your pieces five inches tall and then these pieces would be three and a half inches rather than the two and three quarters inches that we cut these to, okay? And then when you open it up, your card would be seven by five. So it's fun because you can really uh, be creative and make cards any size you want. If you wanted to stop here, this would be a cute card on its own. So this would just go into the envelope. It's not going to be the exact size of the envelope, but it will fit inside. And you could just have one little section of the pinwheel as a card. Okay, let's flip this over and add the rest of our jade pieces. 
once again, making sure these are all straight across and lined up perfectly along that fold. Flip it over and do our last section. There we go. Got a little bit of adhesive off here so we don't catch it on anything. And let's add our last card to this section right here. Okay, let's go ahead and start decorating our cards now. Once again, we have pieces that are the same. You can see that it's same here, but we're going to use the opposite sides. Okay, so we have this and then we have this one. So let's start with this one. And we're going to glue that to this section right here. The next section, we're going to glue this one. Right into the center here. Let's bring our next section. And we're going to do our polka dots this time. Oh, I just love every single one of these papers. It's always hard to decide which which side of the paper you want to use when the papers are all so great. But what's so awesome about this card is you get a chance to feature all those wonderful patterns. Okay, and then for the last one, we're going to add this one with all the characters on it. Just like that. Okay, so now we have patterns all the way around our pinwheel. Super fun. Let's go ahead and decorate the side panels now. So we have our four side panels and I'm going to take three of these and glue them together. Well, temporarily, I'm going to use a post-it note or two to just tape these together so I can stamp them all at the same time. And while we're stamping these, we're also going to stamp our envelope because we never want naked envelopes to go through the mail. We want to make the postal people happy too. I'm going to just bring this to protect my work surface a little bit. Move that out of the way. And we are once again using the Penguin Place stamp set. So for now, I'm going to be using our little snowdrift stamp and our tree stamp up here. Okay, so we're going to be using this one and this one. So let's start with our snow banks. And I'm going to use balmy blue ink. And I'm just going to stamp three lines, uh, snowdrift lines across these cards. And I want them to go in different directions. So I'm going to flip that around. Let's bring it just like that. And one more down here. And go this way. Okay, one more right there. Okay, and while we have this out, let's go ahead and stamp one on our card envelope. And we're going to stamp one right down here at the bottom of this piece. Okay, now the reason I'm stamping this separately is this is the one that our greeting is going to go on. And I just want to make sure that I don't put stamp images in the areas where my greeting is going to be. So this keeping it separate will help me to keep track of what I'm doing here. All right, so now I'm going to use Just Jade and that little tree stamp. And I'm going to stamp it right here. But then I'm going to take a post-it note. I don't know what I would do without post-it notes. And I'm going to block off my little snowdrift here because I want to stamp 
a second generation tree. We get a little lighter image there. And that post-it note blocked off my, my little snowdrift area down here. So let's go ahead and stamp some more trees. I'm just going to just randomly stamp them here and there. And once again, I'm going to use the post-it note and I'm going to stamp off on a scratch piece of paper that I have sitting next to me so I get that lighter image. Okay, and this one I want to have it go this direction, so we'll add that light right there. And one more. Stamp off, add that there, there we go, and then I want to add some to my envelope. There we go, just like that. All right, now I'm going to use the snowflake image out of the stamp set. It's this one right here. Love that. That is a stamp that I think we will be using over and over and over again. It's a perfect little snowflake design. And I'm going to use the Fresh Freesia ink pad, and I'm just going to add some snowflakes over our trees. It's okay to go below the little snow drift. Just like that. So there's our envelope all ready to go. And then I'm just going to add some snowflakes randomly down our card pieces. Just like that. Let's get some on this one as well. And I'm not going to take that too far down. I have a little smudge here, so I'm going to cover that up, make it look like it's supposed to be there. And there we go. Alright, so we can take these pieces apart now. Another thing that I did was I wanted to add a little bit more dimension to our trees. And so if you look at the tree paper or pattern paper of this tree, you'll see it has some little detail lines on it. So I thought, you know what, I want to add some of those detail lines onto the trees that I stamped. So to do that, I am going to use a Evening Evergreen Stampin' Right marker. And I'm just going to add some little lines like that, just to get a little bit more dimension to these trees here. Super simple, but obviously something that it's up to you if you want to do something like this as far as adding those detail lines. It's not really necessary, but it, it adds a little something. Okay, and let's do that on the envelope so it matches as well. You can see I'm just making little tick marks. I'm not trying to be perfect with the design. So if you don't consider yourself an artist, don't worry about that. It's just a little tick mark. Okay, and then for the lighter tree, I'm going to use the Just Jade pen. Once again, just quickly adding some details to those trees.
just like that. Super simple. Okay, let's de decorate our panels now. I'm going to start with this one, and we have our little penguin with the fresh freesia hat. And I'm going to be using our multi-purpose adhesive for this, that way I can move things around if I need to. I'm just going to put some adhesive on the back of that and put this guy on right here. Now his arms are going to hang off a little bit, which is going to be okay because we have a little room on the side here, but you don't want his arms hanging off too far. So there we have that one. And then we have our little snowman. Now he was a little tricky to cut out his arms and you have to be really careful where you're putting those on your card. And so I'm going to have, I'm going to use this one. Okay, this is the one for our greeting, so I'm going to move that out of the way. So now let's add our little snowman. And to get those arms on, I'm going to have to twist the design just a little bit. Make sure those pieces fit on this card here. Now they're hanging off just a little bit. If I need to, I can trim off a little of the mittens here. But I think we're going to be okay. We'll see when we go to put it on the card. And then we have our little uh, penguin with the Just Jade scarf and hat. And we're going to put that one up here at the top. But I want it to look like this one is sitting on top of the head of the snowman. So I'm going to slip that to where his feet are over the top and his body is underneath. So it looks like he is sitting on top like that. And then I thought it would be fun to make them look like they are moving around a little bit, really enjoying themselves there. So I'm going to use the Just Jade marker, and I'm just going to add some movement lines here and there so it looks like they're kind of spinning around. Just like that. And then we have this last one that we are going to add the bear. Now, obviously, the bear is pretty big to be put on here, but you'll see in a minute what we're going to do with that one. So I am just going to put adhesive on this side of the bear. I am not going to put it over here on the other side. His head's pretty much going to be on there. So I'm going to take this, and I can actually go a little bit further with the adhesive, just like that. And I'm going to turn the bear, and I kind of want this line right here where his arm is going down to the scarf to be where I will be cutting that design. Okay, so now we can take this. And we're going to cut that off straight down the card, just like that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and grab our card. And this little guy is going to be where the polka dots are. So I am going to glue this card on. like this and then I'm going to take this piece now I could leave it just like that but I wanted to bring it over to this one and I can't bring it all the way over because of those fold lines this could get caught 
and it wouldn't look so great if it got all bent up. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that space in there and I can pretty much guarantee you that when someone is flipping through their card here, they're gonna see a fold there. They're not even gonna notice that line in the middle. They will if they're staring at it, but really as if they're just going through the card and seeing how stinking cute it is, they are not gonna fuss about that line there. All right, so now we have another little penguin. So let's go ahead and glue that on. And when we glue this on, we want to make sure that this penguin is underneath this fold when it's over like this. So I'm just going to make a judgment here and see where I want that penguin to be. He'll be underneath that fold. He's close over here. I can move him just a little bit over. Now, if you wanted to be certain, what you could do is just do this and make a little tick mark with a pencil, and that would tell you where that line's going to be. But... You can eyeball it, it's super simple. All right, and then we have our little punched balloon. Like I said before, you might have a die cut or you could stamp the little balloon in the stamp set and fussy cut it out. So I wanna make sure that balloon's underneath there before I push it all the way down and it's good. All right, so now I'm going to use a Knight of Navy marker, and I'm going to draw a string line for my balloon. Down to the hand of the penguin. I don't know, penguins don't really have hands. Down to the wing. There we go, just like that. I'm going to fix that bow here. There we go. All right, now this section is almost done. All right, let's go to the next section. And that would be the one that's going to be our greeting area. So let's just go ahead and glue this one on here. And when I'm gluing these on, I'm trying to get a, an even border on the left and right and the top and bottom to match up here and down here. Okay, so there's for our greeting. This will be the front of our card. We're going to go ahead and put this on here, making sure that his little wing doesn't go beyond the left edge here. There we go. And then for this one is our little friends here. And just put that one right inside there. There we go. So now we have our patterns all the way around just like this. Let's add some sentiments to this. So I just have a scrap piece of white cardstock and we have our sentiments and these are all out of the Penguin Place stamp set and so we are going to be using the To the Coolest Friend Ever, Be Cool, Be Chill, Be Merry, and the Happy Birthday. So I'm sure when you saw this, you weren't thinking that this was going to be a happy birthday card, but I thought this would be really cute for anyone that celebrates a winter birthday. All right, so we need a piece that is three quarters of an inch wide. And you don't need a piece that's this long, but this will give me plenty of room to work with my banner punch. So I'm just going to stamp happy birthday right here. And now I'm going to use my banner pick, banner pick a punch to get that nice banner shape. 
right like that. Okay, I just need a little piece here. So I am going to just cut, cut off a little slice there. And there we have our happy birthday. So we are going to take that. And that's going to be glued down right down here. Okay. We have that beautiful snowflake. And I'm just going to use mini glue dots. You can see that hologram. So it brings out all those colors in the papers. So I'm just going to use mini glue dots in the center. And put that right onto that card. Now I want to make sure that nothing's hanging off the edges. So I'm going to turn this just a little bit. Make sure all those ends are all where they should be. There we go. So we have that fun hologram sparkly snowflake. Now if you are familiar with my stamping, I love sparkle. So we always add gems and jewels and in anything that sparkles. We use the Wink of Stella brush. Matter of fact, we could use the Wink of Stella brush on here. Um, but I'm not going to add any gems to this one because this card is kind of thick. And you want to be able to stick this into a regular envelope. Um, I believe it's an A2 envelope. And um, you'll be able to mail this without extra shipping, I believe. You want going to want to check with your post office to make sure. But this is, this is like a regular size card. But if you start adding bling to this, it's going to get thick and you're going to have to add that extra postage. Okay, so now I have my little scrap paper here. And we are going to go ahead and just stamp these sentiments on that paper. Now, if you want to, you can use a paper trimmer to make sure that you get super straight lines. But when you're doing a little tag like this, you don't really need to um, cut it perfectly straight. Uh, that didn't stamp as well as I wanted it to, so I'm just going to go ahead and add that there. And then I'm just going to take my scissors, and I'm just going to trim this up to a little label here. Bring that a little bit closer, just like that. And I want to the coolest be on one line and friend ever on another line. And now I can just go ahead and use this other piece to get my second sentiment. So be cool, be chill, be merry. That one didn't stamp very well either. Goodness. Good thing we have double-sided paper. There we go. You know what, there's like a piece of fuzz or something on here. Let me get that cleaned off. See, it's third time's the charm. There we go. Just cover this up before I put my hand right into it. And we'll go ahead and trim this one up. go and I'm going to cut all of these little pieces apart and I'm going to use my smaller scissors so I can see what I'm doing here and I want to cut these apart but I don't want that little dot there so I'm going to take that off go and we can go ahead and glue these on 
So for that one, we have the happy birthday. We're going to open this up. And this is going to be to the coolest friend ever. Now I am going to be have going to be having an online class to go. Featuring these products. And if that is something that you're interested in, be sure that you have signed up to my mailing list on stampwithjeannie.com. So you get the latest information of upcoming classes, specials, free tutorials, all that good fun stuff. You'll be the first to know if you are on my mailing list. So we're just going to put the be cool over here. If you like what you see, be sure to give me that thumbs up. If you love what you see, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I am just now starting my YouTube channel and hope to uh, be here on a more regular basis and would love to have you join me and be merry. Okay, so we have that and I think we have it all. So let's bring you to the front. So this is the happy birthday to the coolest friend ever. Be cool, be chill, be merry and then your own private reading. And this fits into that regular A2 size envelope. Just perfectly. There you go. There's our envelope. So let's bring you back down to the front. There's the front of our card. There is our envelope. And this is what it looks like when it stands up. Super cute. I hope you enjoyed the card class today. It's a super simple card that is really impressive when people see it in person. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me anytime. The easiest way is contact me at stampwithgenie at cox.net. Just send me an email, let me know what you want. Place, put a message here to this video. I will get that as well and answer you as soon as possible. If you're interested in the measurements for this card, please visit my uh, stampwithgenie.com website right here. Um, sign up for my mailing list if you'd like information on upcoming classes, events, and specials. And if you'd like to shop, you can go to my genieseoli.stampinup.net website and place an order there. If you use the host code FGVMA2WC, with your order and it qualifies for our mystery stamping event which means you have to place fifty dollars in orders before august 19th and then you'll be invited to this free stamping event where i will send you the products you need to create two fun projects and you won't know what those projects are until you follow the clues each month i do a special online card class in the mail and this month we'll be doing expressions in ink now those products are currently on back order but they're supposed to come in this week and we are hoping that they do and so if you want more information about this class registration is open for a few more days and you can find all the information that you need about this class by going on the link in the blue bar in the middle of this page here is all my contact information and the best way to get a hold of me. So you have my email, you have my website, which is my blog, and you have my online store link here. So anytime you have a question, feel free to contact me at your convenience. Thanks so much once again for joining me today. 
And I would love to see pictures of your project if you recreate this design. Thanks so much. Take care.